Let's pray together. Father, thank you for allowing me to come to you, to talk to you. I want to ask God that your spirit would search me, know my anxious thoughts, reveal those. Lord, reveal any unconfessed sin in my life, areas of selfishness, areas of stubbornness. Lord, I, I want to be more like Jesus in my life. And so, God, I pray that you would point out anything that I'm doing in my life that is offensive to you, that's not been confessed, that's not been repented of. And, Father, help me to follow you more clearly and more closely. I ask tonight that people would hear and see this modeled and that you would change their lives tomorrow morning in their prayer time. Lord, speak to me now and change me. Transform me into the man of God you've called me to be. In Jesus' name I pray. I waited patiently for the Lord to help me. And he turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the pit of despair, out of the mud and the mire, he set my feet on solid ground and steadied me as I walked along. He has given me a new song to sing, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see what he has done and be amazed. They will put their trust in the Lord. Oh, the joys of those who trust the Lord, who have no confidence in the proud or in those who worship idols. Oh, Lord, my God, you have performed many wonders for us. Your plans for us are too numerous to list. You have no equal. If I tried to recite all your wonderful deeds, I would never come to the end of them. You take no delight in sacrifices or offerings. Now that you have made me listen, I finally understand. You don't require burnt offerings or sin offerings. And then I said, look, I've come. As is written about me in the scriptures, I take joy in doing your will, my God, for your instructions are written on my heart. I have told all your people about your justice. I have not been afraid to speak out as you, O Lord, well know. I have not kept the good news of your justice hidden in my heart. I have talked about your faithfulness and saving power. Lord, don't hold back your tender mercies from me. Let your unfailing love and faithfulness always protect me, for troubles surround me, too many to count. My sins pile up so high I can't see my way out. They outnumber the hairs on my head. I have lost all courage. Please, Lord, rescue me. Come quickly, Lord, and help me. May those who try to destroy me be humiliated and put to shame. May those who take delight in my trouble be turned back in disgrace. Let them be horrified by their shame, for they said, Aha, we've got him now. But may all who search for you be filled with joy and gladness in you. May those who love your salvation repeatedly shout, The Lord is great. As for me, since I am poor and needy, let the Lord keep me in his thoughts. You are my helper and my savior, O oh my God. Do not delay. I waited patiently for the Lord to help me and he turned to me and heard my cry. God, I, I can honestly tell you I struggle with knowing whether or not I wait patiently on you or whether I jump ahead of you. I don't know, God, that I'm as patient as you want me to be. I think about my calling here to Calvary. I think about the transition from Arkansas to here. And I'm constantly concerned of whether or not it was me, my desire, was I being impatient? 
so, Lord, I continue to live with that question. But I see your grace being revealed all around me. I, I see how people have become followers of Christ. I hear weekly how people are encouraged. And you're reminding me that this was your path for me. And God, so often, though, I run ahead He lifted me out of the pit of despair, out of the mud and the mire. He set my feet on solid ground and steadied me as I walked along. Lord, I thank you for rescuing me from the mud, from the pit of despair that I was in before I gave my life to Jesus. You rescued me from years of abuse. You rescued me from those names that my dad said to me, called me. You rescued me from the person I was becoming shaped by my dad, that I was pathetic, I was a loser, I was stupid, I was an idiot, I couldn't do anything right. You rescued me from that mud and that mire. You rescued me from a sense of hopelessness that had overgrown my heart. You rescued me from the darkness of sin. You rescued me from a a future that was certainly destined to be lived in utter disgrace. And you set my feet on a rock. You gave me a firm place to stand, Lord. Week in and week out, I get to talk about the good things that Jesus has done. Week in and week out, Father, I get to talk about the goodness of God being revealed in my life. While I grew up, I wondered where you were. And now, God, I just ask where you're not. It doesn't matter where I go. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. You are constantly my best friend. You're constantly here with me. You gave me a firm place to stand. I'm not ashamed of who I was becoming. He has given me a new song to sing, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see what he has done and be amazed. They will put their trust in the Lord. You changed my song You gave me hope when I had none. You showed me what joy was. You showed me what life is. You gave me the most incredible woman to walk with me in this life. You gave me a woman that loves Jesus and she loves me fiercely and she loves our children fiercely. And every day I get to see life while not perfect but so far removed from my childhood. Such a contrast. You put a song of praise in my mouth. And many have seen it, God. Many many have seen it. Many have related to it. And you've led many people to Jesus as a result of my story. Thank you. So God, then let me keep telling my story. Let me keep worshiping you with this new song that you've placed in my heart. Oh, the joys of those who trust the Lord, who have no confidence in the proud or in those who worship idols. God, help me to trust you more. I know that there is great joy waiting. God, so often I want to run ahead I want to run ahead in this house that we're looking at. God, I don't know that you want us to be patient. I don't know that you want us to move ahead. I don't know what you want for us right now. But I know my hope is in you and my trust is in you. And I can wait as long as I need to wait. If this house is where you want us to go, then God, you'll put us there. 
Lord, you have performed many wonders for us. Your plans for us are too numerous to list. You have no equal. If I tried to recite all your wonderful deeds, I would never come to the end of them. God, what you have done in my family's life has been absolutely amazing, Father. I praise you for it. I praise you, God, for the way that you've been changing us. I praise you, God, for the numerous things that you have done. You've given us four amazing children. Thank you for the blessing that we have in Sophie with her type 1 diabetes. Thank you, God. While we pray that you would take that disease from her, we've seen it as a blessing that has sharpened her. This is changing her. It's causing her to become more compassionate, more caring, more courageous. We thank you for the way that you've blessed us here at Calvary with so many people that have reached out to us and so many people that have loved us and so many people that have encouraged us. Thank you that we have a great staff to work with. Thank you that we have a great church family. Your work in our lives is too numerous to count. I'm just so glad, God, that I'm being used by you in a place where I can have impact and also, Father, in a place where there is great joy and great grace. I take joy in doing your will, my God, for your instructions are written on my heart. Lord, let me confess right there, I don't often as often as I should take joy in doing your will. Sometimes, God, your will is hard. Sometimes it's overwhelming to do what we may not want to do. It rubs me hard sometimes. But Lord, you show me in the long run the joy that is for those that follow you. And you show me that while you call us to walk through hard situations in life, that there is joy on the other side of those, that there's an incredible peace that surpasses all understanding on the other side of the hard. So God, help me to walk with obedience. Help me to speak with obedience. Help me to love with obedience. Knowing, God, that that is your will for my life. I have told all your people about your justice. I have not been afraid to speak out as you, Lord, know a well. I have not kept the good news of your justice hidden in my heart. I have talked about your faithfulness and saving power. God, I am not even going to focus on those words right now. Thank you. It's your story that you're writing in my life. It's your story that you're writing in my children's lives, in my wife's life. God, you get credit, you get glory, draw people to you. But may all who search for you be filled with joy and gladness in you. May those who love your salvation repeatedly shout, the Lord is great. God, I first I want to be a searcher of you. I want to keep searching for you. I want to search for you in a sermon. I want to search for you in worship. I want to search for you as I'm driving my car. I want to search for you as I'm dating my wife. I want to search for you as I talk to my children. God, I want, I want, to, I want to search for you and I want to find you. I want to find those places where you're at work in our neighbor's life. I want to find those places that where you're at work in my kid's life, my family life. God, I want to find those places where you're at work. And Lord, I want you to use me to advance your kingdom in those areas let me be a grace shower let me be kind let me be loving let me be caring even about random people who show up on our doorstep and knock on our door help me to love them as I ought to 
May those who love your salvation repeatedly shout, the Lord is great. Well, God, you're great. Lord, you are great. I love your salvation. I love the way you've changed me. I love the way you've given me hope. I love the way you've forgiven me of my sins. The Lord is great. Thank you, God, for loving me. Lord, help me to keep coming to the end of myself on a daily basis. Help me to continue to pour my heart out to you. Help me to walk in obedience. Help me to listen to you. Turn me into the man of God that you desire me to be. And I pray all this in Jesus' name. Now, I'm not saying that every time that you sit down with the Lord, it ought to look like that. But I do want to encourage you to pour your heart out to him, whatever that looks like. If you're going through a rocky season in your marriage, have you poured your heart out to God using scripture? You might pour your heart out to a friend or to a family member or even to someone else, to your pastor. But are you pouring your heart out to God? He loves you. He wants that relationship with you. He wants to talk with you and to guide you through it. He wants to lift you up out of that pit of despair and set your feet on a rock and give you a firm place to stand. But you got to pour your heart out to him.